Hi, my name's Natalie Lindholm. I'm the curator of birds here at the Gladys Porter Zoo. And for Stork Day, we're going to talk about our marabou storks. The marabou stork occurs throughout Africa below the Sahara. So Sub-Saharan Africa, which is are all the countries occurring below the Sahara Desert on down to a little bit into South Africa. Uh, they can live in wet or dry habitats. They prefer open country. The marabou stork is a tall bird, one of the tallest birds in the world. They can be up to five feet tall. They can weigh up to 20 pounds and they have one of the largest wingspans and they can be up to 12 feet from tip to tip. The marabou stork can live up to 25 years in the wild and they can live to over 40 in captivity. And our marabou here are about five years old, so they've got a long way to go. So right now the two birds, they both have their wings spread out. When they spread their wings out like that, it's a natural sanitizer. The marabou stork is a scavenger, and they will pretty much eat anything they can catch. They will normally congregate around a kill, like where a lion is, has killed, say, a buffalo. And the marabou, with their big, long bills, can kind of stand above the vultures and kind of steal food from them. And a marabou can eat a piece of meat off of those carcasses that weighs up to two pounds. One thing you might notice about the marabou is their legs and feet are kind of white and they are white because they will actually poo on their legs and this acts uh, in a way to help keep them cool. These birds here are part of the SSP, which is the Species Survival Plan. So it's a carefully managed breeding program to keep the genetic diversity of the captive population very high. And we are actually holding these two birds while they sort of wait their turn to have a mate chosen for them. To stay up to date with everything going on here at the Gladys Porter Zoo, keep watching us on social media, and thanks for watching.